modeling, simulation and GUI control of a hexapod walking robot. Abstract the present work involves the modeling, simulation and control of a hexapod robot as well as the development of the cyclic movement of its leg. The study focuses on the integration of the toolbox robot into MATLAB to simulate the walking procedure in its different stages along with the GUI control of the hexapod while respecting the kinematics imposed by the leg. Keywords Hexpod Robot, Kinematics, Walking Robot, Kinematics, Mechanism, GUI Control I Introduction Inaccessible or risky missions for humans such as volcano exploration, nuclear power plants maintenance or disaster rescue may be performed by multi-legged robots whose technology rapid development and applications resulted in a wide range of autonomous robotic systems that can be used as substitute for mankind 1-2-3-4 classified essentially into three major areas represented by the lsl less input single end effector less outputs the msm multiple input single end effector multiple outputs and the mmm multiple inputs multiple end effectors multiple outputs the multi-legged robots whose anatomy holds many degrees of freedom dof leading them to be closer to handling robots are typical of the mmm systems a wide and interesting review of dynamic multi-legged robots has been performed five and discusses the state of the art in terms of multi-legged autonomous robotic systems the hexapod robot has redundant degrees of freedom due to its multiple joints whose control method defines the pace ensuring a balanced movement of the whole body. The diverse techniques that have been investigated so far seem to be close to the walking progress inherent to animals and notably that of insects 6 to 7. Accommodation to ground is specific to walkers consisting of choosing the best contact area through combining forward movement and stability using proximity, contact, or vision sensors 8. Robot mechanics are usually designed specifically for the applications and tasks they are assumed to perform. In manufacturing, manipulator arms are the most commonly used as their main tasks are linked to assembly and handling 9. For transportation and service applications, it is most often necessary to use on wheels mobile robots capable of carrying out heavy loads 10. However, being unable to move on uneven terrains or obstructed environments, they require accessible flat grounds or rails and hence the need to consider alternative modes of transportation dependent on the nature of the terrain of operation. The solution has been found by inspiration through nature. A large number of researchers have been interested in the locomotion of humans and animals using legs, and legged robots, biped or quadrupeds, seem to have various advantages over wheeled ones. They offer superior maneuverability and higher speed in unbalanced environments such as stairs, slopes, congested grounds, etc. as a result of the intermittent and non-permanent contact. This allows the robot to overcome obstacles giving it a higher mobility in a crowded or chaotic environment and leading to various applications particularly in the field of intervention in hostile environments. To this end, legged robots have been investigated for several decades November 12th, 13 through trying to imitate the flexibility, robustness, and adaptability of walking humans. Due to the complexity of the models, tremendous computing power is needed and this partly explains why these types of robots are still largely confined to laboratory experiments with little use in practical life. The present investigation performed the modeling, simulation and control of a hexapod walking robot through the application of the MATLAB robotics toolbox. Both direct and inverse leg kinematics that refer to the conversion of joint angles to end effectors position and that introduces the conversion of world CO ordinates of end effector to joint angles respectively are presented. The cyclic movement of the hexapod leg is obtained through decomposing it into two main phases representing a support and a backing. To the biological inspiration. Biology inspired robotics 14 to 15 mimicking animal motions and trying to implement them into artificial machines have revolutionized the field of robotics. The human principles linked to muscles and skeleton are transferred into conventional motors and mechanical linkages. To date, the bio inspired robotics research has achieved solutions that have shown abilities to tackle various contemporary challenges. It however has a long way facing it in order to be able to design, build, and control robots inspired by nature, and this needs a deep collaboration between roboticists and biologists. 
a hexpod robots. The idea to design a hexapod walking robot was developed through imitating insects such as a cockroach or an ant that are illustrated in figure 117. Their movement is based on the alternate motion of three legs. Hexapod robots are considered more stable than quadrupled and bipedal robots. 18 They integrate six legs, and constitute a mechatronic system that combines concepts inherent to mechanical, electronic, and computer engineering. The interest of studying such robots is mainly justified by their stability along with their terrestrial applications. Their mobility is indeed stable their operation efficient and managed by its supporting polygon. The applications involve, among other operations, collecting data in remote, disaster and dangerous areas along with the possibility of adopting them as domestic robots, CF Figure 2. 3. Direct geometric model applied to hexapods. A structure and model. One of the characteristics inherent to hexapods is their ability to walk even if one or more of their legs are disabled. This is the result of the fact that a robot can be statically stable on three or more legs, and a hexapod walks on six. Typically, individual legs range from two to six degrees of freedom and integrate at least three joints. A representative isostatic structure of a walking robot is shown in figure 3 illustrating the model of one leg. Figure 4 introduces the configuration of the structure adopted for the hexapod. This is the result that most often, forward turn and side steps locomotion are needed. B. Hexapod Direct Geometric Model Direct geometric modeling along with its automatic implementation requires an approach for the description of the morphology of the robots represented by the method of David Hartenberg 20 which states that all bodies should be perfectly rigid and connected through ideal joints, noted J, rotating by an angle, dot J, as illustrated in figure 5. For the robot's body to move in a linear and continuous way, the support polygon should proceed in the adverse direction to that of the body. The leg should be raised looking for support through the next contact point. Modeling of the contact points with the ground has been simplified through taking into account solely the positional constraints thus neglecting the orientation values. This leads to generating both translations and rotations to the supporting polygon without distorting it. As a consequence, the trajectories of the resulting polygons will allow the body to move according to the direction required by the external environmental conditions. An appropriate mechanism for the present spider-like robot having six legs with three DOFs each is introduced. 18 activated DOFs will constitute the platform. Reproducing the walking. A tripod approach ensures stability while having the least amount of legs simultaneously in contact with the ground. With three legs in ground contact, nine actuators will be in action in order to react to the six DOFs related to both orientation and translation of the body with respect to the supporting polygon. This led to the development of the MATLAB software inherent to the walking approach of one leg shown in figure 6. Fig 6 screen capture of MATLAB software for one leg 21. 4 inverse geometric model applied to hexapods. The control of hexapod legs is performed on the basis of the ground contact position of the leg, cf figure 7. The procedure leading to the solution of its kinematics is performed through, 1, describing the leg in terms of the david hartenberg procedure in order to achieve a generic solution for serial manipulators with three DOFs, and, 2, finding out the articular values associated with the Cartesian coordinates position of the leg end contact with the ground. Fig 7 Schematic Shape of a Leg 21 The architecture has been selected to allow the reduction of the calculations since they should be performed in real time on the robot embedded unit. The first two axes are coincident, a 1 equals 0, and that leads to a great reduction of the number of possible solutions to the inverse geometric problem. Table 2 Limiting Joint Values 6 Conlucions In recent years, Great progress has been achieved in the field of multi-legged robots mainly due to the interest in systems able to move in a similar manner to those found in nature. However, they seem to be still far from being significantly versatile and robust. 
the referred aspects lead to indicate that legged robots may offer significant advantages over their wheeled counterparts as they showed interesting abilities in overcoming various obstacles and turning in much smaller perimeters. Starting from the idea of developing a hexapod robot capable of moving on rough terrains, a design procedure is outlined along with the modeling, simulation and control of a hexapod walking robot in the robot toolbox. The proposed design procedure was concerned with the mechanical structure and leg configuration. It developed and achieved the cyclic movement of a leg by decomposing it into two main phases representing a support and a backing. It was shown that a reduction of the functional degrees of freedom of the task may be performed. It remains that the main objective of the investigation lies in the generation of the alternate tripod-like walk inherent to the displacement of the hexapod robot and to this end, the integration of the support and backing phases was undertaken leading to the cyclic movement of the legs. The application of the toolbox robot V10 integrated into MATLAB permitted both the simulation and the GUI control of the hexapod while respecting the kinematics imposed by the leg. Moreover, one of the major points addressed by the present study is represented by the generation of the trajectory of the walking advance of the hexapod within which the alternating tripod mode of its movement has been simulated. However, there are still many significant problems that need to be further investigated in order to optimize current systems including better control algorithms and more complex sensor systems. Acknowledgement The authors wish to acknowledge the Laboratoire de Mécanique Appliquée des Nouveaux Matériaux of the University 8 May 1945 Guelma and the General Directorate of Scientific Research and Technological Development, DGRSDT, for the facilities provided to accomplish this research.